Mental Hygiene It is poor strategy to wage against evil feelings or propulsions, a war of mere repression. We have seen that this is so in educational control of others. It is not less so in control of ourselves. If we would really oust our evil proclivities, we must cultivate others that are positively good. It is not enough to hate our failings or our vices with a perfect hatred. We must love something else. In other words, we must contrive to open mind and heart to tenants in whose presence unwelcome intruders, unable to find a home, will torment us only for a season and at last take their departure. There is a mental just as much as a bodily hygiene. The Making of Character Professor McCunn Moses said, Do this or do that. Jesus refrained from regulations. He proposed that we should love. Jesus, while hardly mentioning the word, planted the idea in his disciples' minds that love was law. For three years he exhibited and enforced love as the principle of life, until, before he died, they understood that all duty to God and man was summed up in love. Progress in the moral world is ever from complexity to simplicity. First, one hundred duties. Afterwards, they are gathered into ten commandments. Then they are reduced to two, love of God and love of man. And finally, Jesus says his last word. This is my commandment, that ye love one another as I have loved you. The Mind of the Master, Dr. John Watson